Hello dear Risk Digraspers, welcome to a brand new episode of your favorite weekly news capsule. Life is a grand stage and every step you take is a part of your performance. So polish your shoes and take each step with enthusiasm and confidence. Learn to be mindful of your actions and put your best foot forward. Let's move on to today's highlights. Last week was a big deal for our country's politics as the parliament proceedings shifted base after nearly 100 years. Did you know that the old parliament building was completed in 1927 and has witnessed some historic events, including the adoption of the Indian constitution? However, over time, it was found to not be enough for present day requirements. The new building can now comfortably seat over 888 members in the Lok Sabha chamber and 300 members in the Rajya Sabha chamber. And for a joint sitting of both the houses, all 1,280 MPs can be accommodated in the Lok Sabha chamber itself. The old building will not be demolished and is now called the Samvidhan Sagan, meaning Constitution House. We are excited to know more about our government's new home. Last week, Neera Chopra made our country proud, yet again. After finishing second at the prestigious Diamond League Finals taking place in Oregon, USA. The Diamond League is an annual series of elite track, field and athletic competitions where 14 of the best athletes are invited to compete. Did you know that Neera Chopra became the first Indian to win a Diamond League trophy last year? This time, his best throw of 83.8 meters was not enough to win him the gold prize, but he bagged the silver prize. We are sure he was saving up all his energy for the upcoming Asia Games where he hopes to win some more glory. Last week, Ferrari's Carlos Sainz won the Singapore Grand Prix and finally put an end to Formula 1 leader Max Verstappen's winning streak. Did you know that Red Bull's Verstappen had won 10 races in a row and was hoping to go through the season unbeaten? McLaren's Lando Norris finished a close second and Mercedes' Lewis Hamilton took third place at the GP. This was also the first race since last November where Red Bull didn't end in the first three positions. The Japanese Grand Prix will be starting this morning, so get ready for another exciting race. Thanks to Ishan Kisan's final shot, India has lifted the Asian Cup 2023 after five years. The team led by Rohit Sharma defeated Sri Lanka in the thrilling finals last week by 10 wickets, owing a magical bowling spell by Mohammad Siraj. Did he know that he won the Man of the Match award after taking six wickets? Four of it just came in the fourth over of the match. He dedicated the money and distributed the prize to the ground staff at Colombo, where the tournament was held. What an incredible show for sportsmanship and a great victory for the entire country. I'm sure you've all heard about the Nobel Prize. But what about the IG Nobel Prize? While the Nobel is meant to celebrate intellectual achievement, the IG Nobel celebrates the most ridiculous and funny things that our brightest minds have studied. Last week, the 33rd IG Nobel Prize ceremony took place and some of the winning ideas included explaining why many scientists like to lick rocks, studying the sensations people feel when they repeat a single word many times, studying how people are able to speak backwards and figuring out a technique to confirm whether there is an equal number of hair in both the nostrils of the same person. We hope some of these ideas made you laugh. And if they did, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such amazing news. Have you ever wondered whether aliens exist or not? Well, you aren't alone. And the answer to this question is about to become a little clearer. The US space agency NASA has recently released its very first report on UFO investigation. Did you know that UFOs are unidentified flying objects that have often claimed to be alien spaceships? As of now, the team of researchers have not found any conclusive evidence of the extraterrestrial origin, but they also say that there have been many reported instances that remain unexplained. The panel is going to continue with their studies and come out with more answers. And we will be waiting to see what they have to say. 
It has been a year since the introduction of the Cheetah Project in India, where eight African cheetahs were relocated to India's Kuno National Park. Did you know that cheetahs were extinct for nearly 70 years before this? And now, after a year of trial, wildlife officials are considering a new home for the big cats after realizing that Kuno National Park is a challenging environment for the big cats. The next batch of cheetahs will be imported from South Africa and will now be introduced into Madhya Pradesh's Gandhi Sagar Wildlife Sanctuary. We hope to hear more about this exciting development before the end of the year. Scientists recently found a worrying discovery about how sea ice around Antarctica has receded to historically low levels. According to experts, thinning ice at the two poles could have caused major ramifications for our planet. Did you know that despite being so far away, Antarctica's huge ice expanse regulates the planet's temperature because the white surface reflects the sun's energy back into the atmosphere? These are not the kind of records we want to be breaking. And we hope that this discovery results in some big changes. Have you heard about a small town in West Bengal known as Shanti Niketan? It is the place where our Indian poet and Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore spent most of his life. It was established as a residential school for ancient Indian traditional art forms over a hundred years ago. And just last week, it was finally included in the prestigious UNESCO World Heritage List. Did you know that this is India's 41st World Heritage Site and that India stands on 6th on the World Heritage List? This is an incredible achievement for our country and we are so proud. Landmark of the Week The Colossus of Rhodes, Greece was a huge statue of the sun god Helios carved by chairs of Lindos. Built in around 3 BC, the statue stood at a towering 100 to 125 feet, making it one of the biggest statues of its time. It was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, but was sadly destroyed by an earthquake. It is said that the statue stood astride the harbour and ship sailed between its legs. However, the actual posture of the statue is still a matter of dispute. The word of the week is baffle gab, which means confusing jargon that is difficult to understand. Explain your legal baffle gab, please. I don't understand a word of it. It's time to learn some idioms and proverbs. The proverb of the week is, a picture is worth a thousand words. A picture can convey a message more effectively than a verbal description. When he showed me his new painting, I immediately understood how he was feeling. Certainly, a picture is worth a thousand words. The riddle of the week is, I drive men mad for love of me, easily beaten, never free. What am I? I am gold. Dear eye graspers, this week meet Arthur and Rose. Twins who entered a magical land called Roar in their early years. Now, at age 11, they think of it as an imaginary place. But when their granddad is pulled into a folding bed, they must return to Roar to rescue him. Will they succeed in this mission or get defeated by the villain who has been haunting their nightmares? Read the book and share your views at igrass.com forward slash iClub. Did you know? that the ketchup's origin can be traced back to ancient China. Yes, in 300 BCE, it was basically a fish sauce known as koichep. Ketchup had several versions along the span of several years. However, the idea of a modern-day ketchup was first proposed by an American physician in 1834 who is said to have sold his recipe in form of tomato pills that claimed to cure ailments like diarrhea, indigestion and jaundice. Quiz time! Name the legendary ketchup making company that launched a line of clothes that used real tomato ketchup to create stains on vintage garments. 
send your answers to contact us at igras.com along with your full name, school name and a photograph. Answer to the last week's quiz. Michael Phelps first qualified for the Summer Olympics in the year 2000 at the age of 15. This certificate of appreciation is presented to Shanaya Mohanty of Tagore International School, Vasant Vihar for successfully participating in the weekly quiz on India's leading news capsule for tweens. I grasp. We all fail and learn. As long as we give it our best, we have nothing to regret. So put your best foot forward and good things will surely follow. That's all we have for you this week. See you again next week. Bye-bye.